Gunnar Nelson about that. He said as well, the best fighters now are not strikers, grapplers, and wrestlers. It's all blended, as he said, into a soup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can make the best <laughs> Thank you. How, how excited are you uh, now? Two more days left. I'm excited, man. I'm ready. Uh, this, like I said, this is something that we've been training now for about eight months, getting ready for this. And we're just ready to go out there, give, it, give the world a good show. You're super relaxed. You've been relaxed all week long. You're fighting a prize fight in an arena on yeah. Saturday night. How come you can be so calm? I don't know. Once, once you realize, I feel like once you come into a realization of what could happen and you accept it, you're all right with it. You know, you go in there, I always say, you either win or you lose. I already won, like, because I'm... I'm, I'm living this right now. You know, I see all the cameras, I see everything. Um, you hear the, the fans out there screaming. I already won, you know, from where I come from to where I'm at now, I'm, I'm happy, I'm content, and it's just another fight. Brian, Brian, you talk about the crowd reaction. And this wasn't for the fight, this was for practice. We're talking about practice. We're talking how, about practice. <laughs> how amped are you going to be when the fight happens? Or are you just even keel the whole way, whether it's practice or if it's time to throw down? No, I mean, we, we, we get excited, right? Uh, like right now, a couple of times we had to slow down because I, I did mess it. I apologize where he's at, but I, I broke my coach's uh, ACL during training. So that's why we couldn't really move up there too much. But that's what happens when you get excited. So we try to control it a little bit. And uh, the arena is going to blow up. Like if the arena, if you see this right now, this is nothing. This is pennies compared to what the arena is going to be like. It's already sold out. And uh, we're going we're gonna to put the cherry on top of everything for you guys. Max has sort of been adopted from Toronto. Like, you know, he's been sort of uh, taken in from Toronto just with him winning the title. And he's, he, you know, wearing the Raptors stuff. What type of a reaction are you expecting in the cage? Because it seems like people love you out there. I think it's going to be pretty soon. I mean, it, at the end of the day, there's a, you know, I love Toronto. I've been here a couple of times already. Uh, Toronto, T-City, you know. Uh, and it's not up to me who, who they like and who they don't like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, obviously I'm from L.A. and uh, we, we do got beef over here, you know, like with the games and all, but it, at the end of the day for me it's all love, all fun, you know, it doesn't matter. You've known about this fight for a while. How do you go about not overtraining you know about a fight this much in advance? I feel like we've been overtraining for eight months. Yeah, there's no, you know, we've just been at it for eight months nonstop. We've had our blinders on and have not had a life, have not enjoyed this year at all. Uh, as in terms of holidays or even my birthday, anything I've like I missed and skipped everything. So now I'm excited to, to close this and move on to the next chapter of my life. Right. For the leader, drug leader, you can hesitate to say that you feel really confident going to the fight will happen. Now that we're less than a day after the fight, you feel are we starting to feel like it or are you starting to feel like this is good so I don't know man. Uh, I look I looked at him yesterday and asked him, I go, how, how confident are we? And I couldn't get a response. So, I don't know. I mean, for, for a long time, I think a lot of people have sort of thought, thought about you as a good You come out here, you become the first man to knock out Frank. Do you feel like that side of your game has caught up to ground schools? My ground schools are pretty deadly, man. I wouldn't compare it to my stand up. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I train a lot. I, like we talked about earlier, we really want to be the best at everything. So we sacrifice so much time, we put in so much work um, for for what we do. You know, we go in there and we put in a lot of work, and we just catch up. Man. Like I always say, the old me will lose to the new me. No one's been able to hang with you. What do you feel like? He had so long to look at Max. Do you feel like? What do you assess his growth? I mean, he's solid, man. He's a good. He's he's like any solid guy who has like a good brown belt or black belt. Uh, they'll go in there. They're scrappy. They'll go in there and hang with you. Uh, but there's just there's some things that you can only learn with time, and, and that's what I have on him with the jiu-jitsu. Any, any part of you? There's levels to it. Any part of you thinking about Moicano the rematch just in case this doesn't happen, or just 100% right now in Max? Um, we're looking at at, at I mean. We don't want to just go in there and say it's Max and then get your heart broken again and then you have to fight with Kano and you get caught off guard. So right now I'm just almost in that mentality to where I just I just want to fight for you guys 
they give you guys a show. You know, just fight for the title. Ryan. Ryan. You, uh, Sorry. You've only attempted one takedown in your UFC career. It's mostly people shooting on you, or you just you know, catch them in that sense. Do you envision you know, grappling scenarios with Max? Is it you know, out of you trying to take him down? He's obviously got really high takedown defense and stuff. Like, how do you imagine the grappling scenarios coming to fruition? I never imagined it. I, I go in there, I feel, I feel it out, right? It's a feeling process. Once I get in there, I see if this guy take a go down, is this guy strikeable. Uh, what, what can I get from this? How can I turn this into my fight? And how can I look at a window of opportunity to finish it and take advantage of it? That's like you people are be surprised by your wrestling, like if they saw you, you know, straight going in there and trying to do takedowns and like that. Like people will be surprised where your skills in that area stand. Um, I don't want to disrespect the wrestling community and say my skills are good because you got guys that dedicate their whole life to this as in terms of wrestling, but. I, I can hang. I've, I've wrestled with uh, with a lot of guys. I went to OSU before uh, to wrestle with all the cats over there. I, I went to a lot of good uh, wrestling schools and hung in there with these guys. So I'm pretty confident with it. Guys like you and Tony Ferguson start attacking submissions as soon as you get a hold of each other standing. That, that's a new part of the game that not everybody's playing right now. Yeah, we we don't need the ground to finish. <laughs> a lot is a lot, no matter where it's at. Ryan, uh, Claudia Gadea is also on this card, and she made that pretty funny comment on Instagram uh, a little while back. I know you guys are friends. Have you talked to her since uh, since that whole thing kind of blew up? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I know yeah. what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, like I said, we're friends. We, you know, we, we, obviously, you know, everyone knows that uh, we like to play tricks on you guys. But I mean, everyone kind of took it to a, a whole other level. Yeah. Did you expect uh, it to blow up? No, no, I did. We just kind of joking around, and then it kind of went to what it was. But. Uh, I mean, it gives you guys some talk about, right? Right. Uh, uh, Brian, how are you? How are you? Uh, Good. You said that um, this day you asked him how confident are you, and he didn't respond. Yeah. Just from what you saw out of him, his face, his demeanor, how confident are you? What did you see? Uh, like I said, that, that's that's what kind of stuck in my head yesterday. When I looked at him in the eyes and I talked to him, and he kind of gave me like, you know, no response, but the eyes. You know, the eyes kind of, I'm a pretty good judge of character, you know? So when I seen that, I, I wasn't convinced. So, I don't know. Is that process for you? A little bit, yeah. It's little, hard to really enjoy Yeah, it. I don't want to go through it twice, but now I'm at the point where if I have to do it, I have to do it.